I'm Dan Sang, a postdoc in both Rock and the Lab. And uh, this is my partner in this. I'm world. Doug Call, I'm also a postdoc, and today we're going to share some results uh, on our paper in biotechnology and bioengineering. Um, as we know, microbial fuel cell is a system that converts uh, chemical energy in substrates to electrical energy um, by the catalytic reactions of microorganisms. Um, many different substrates have been used in MFCs. Uh, one substrate of particular interest is formic acid, which is produced during the glucose fermentation. Um, based on the standard thermodynamical calculations, uh, it should theoretically produce the highest cell voltage of the fermentation and products. However, um, our previous results showed that uh, the maximum power density produced with formic acid is only 16 million uh, words per square meter, which is much lower than the power density of 800 million words per square meter obtained with acetic acid, uh, ethanol, or lactic acid. So now we're just going to show you a couple of slides to uh, talk about some of our results. So one reason uh, for the low power densities that we see with formic acid could be that most exoelectrogens cannot use formic acid as a carbon source, such as geobacter self reducens Two centrophic processes could lead to current generation using formic acid, which are hydrogen generation and acetogenesis. The hydrogen generation pathway is that formic acid was used by pericoccus to generate hydrogen, and then the hydrogen was used by geobacter to generate current. The second possible centrophic interaction is based on generation of acetic acid. Formate can be converted to acetate by bacteria, such as acetobacterium, Acetic acid can then be used by geobacter self reducens This entrophic relationship is more thermodynamically favorable, and it results in acetate, which is a favorite substrate for geobacter self reducens It's recently been shown that different microbial communities can be developed on an anode by controlling the anode potential. In order to improve the performance of MFCs fed formic acid, we hypothesized that effective centrophic communities could be developed by controlling the anode potential. Three different anode potentials, minus 0.3, minus 0.15, and positive 0.15 volts versus standard hydrogen electrode were used in the study. Setting the anode potential at minus 0.3 volts, we can bypass the acetate oxidation pathway and only allow formic acid to be reduced. Minus 0.15 volts was used because it is the midpoint potential for geobacter self reducens when oxidizing acetic acid and MFCs. Positive 0.15 volts was used because it allows oxidation of all possible intermediates and it may produce more diverse communities than lower potentials. 30 days after inoculation with wastewater, no current was generated at minus 0.3 volts, suggesting a lack of direct formic acid oxidation. More positive potentials, minus 0.15 and positive 0.15 volts that allowed for acetic acid utilization all produced current, and the best performance was obtained at minus 0.15 volts. The anode community and the minus 0.15 volt reactor was about 60% geobacter self reducens and about 20% acetobacterium. Lower proportions of the genre were found in the positive 0.15 volt reactor and the control MFC with 1000 ohm external resistance. More of our acetic acid was detected in all MFCs. This suggested that current generation by geobacter self reducens was dependent on acetic acid production by acetobacterium. In order to see if these centrophic interactions could be maintained over time, all MFCs were then examined in longer term operation. In that way, all reactors were disconnected from the potentiostat and operated in external resistance for maximum power production. At this mode, they produced similar power densities and exhibited the same midpoint potential of minus 0.15 volts in first derivative cyclic voltammetry scans. All of the mixed communities converged to similar proportions of the two prominent genera, 50% geobacter self reducens and 25% acetobacterium. These results show that syntrophic interactions can be enhanced through setting certain anopotentials 